Okay, this is going to be a demonstration on um, the break apart feature and as well as the trace bitmap feature. Um, the first thing you want to do is import to your library. I'm going to cancel that because I was going to import to the stage. So go to import to library. Select. I'm selecting three images that I have. I've got a bullet, desert, and koala. I'm going to bring in my bullet and rename the layer. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to name this BKG color, background color. So right there, you can see that the bullet just looks like it's laying on a white stage and there's uh, more or less nothing behind it. Once you add this green colored background, you'll see the white square surrounding the bullet. Now, you can't do anything to this bullet um, because it's just an image. Uh, you have to make modification to the image in order to start making changes to it such as cleaning it up if you just want to use the bullet instead of the not the white background um, or the shadow if you want to get rid of that for example um, you can select the image go modify break apart and now you'll see it becomes pixelated uh, and you begin you can grab the lasso tool you can begin to make modifications to it and clean it up accordingly so starting to erase uh, the outer white area of the bullet. Um, you can zoom in and start getting more detailed with it to make sure uh, there's no white showing. And you can do, you can clean the image up that way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you another way of doing this faster way. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to delete it. And I'm just going to ensure, press delete, and my stage is clear on the bullet. So I'm going to bring back in the same image from my library. I'm going to go to modify bitmap, trace bitmap. You have your color threshold and your max minimum area. So I did 100 by 8, previewed it, and the colors, you'll notice they start to get kind of um, funky because what you're doing is you're uh, transferring this image into a vector-based image. Uh, so the lower you bring these, I got 25 by 4 here, the more computing time it will take. And um, you'll see that these colors are uh, start to get... Uh, different. You'll notice in the, the silver top to the, the brown just underneath it changes uh, drastically versus the 100 color threshold by 8 to the 25 by 4. So the 25 by 4 is much better and that allows you just to select the color and delete it. So like the white area as I just did. Uh, I deleted the shadow and now I'm just going around the outline of the shadow. And now I have a perfectly cleaned bullet, which took me a matter of seconds versus the break apart feature. But another thing you have to keep in mind is that all of the sections of this image are broken apart. So if you were to use it, just keep in mind that um, you want to make sure you either convert it to a symbol or when selecting this image, you select the entire thing. And you have your cleaned up bullet that you could use for animation. If you want, you can go in there and start cleaning up. Zoom in and start cleaning it up around the uh, black outline. And make sure that it's uh, there is absolutely no white showing. Um, but it's a much quicker way of cleaning up an image. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that. I'm going to show you another uh, example 
of this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my desert image. Now, photo photos are tricky. Um, the image sizes are much, the file size of the image is much larger. Um, there's a lot more detail in it. And the break apart feature works pretty well, but you're not going to really probably want to use this feature for an image uh, this complex. So uh, you're going to go to modify uh, bitmap, trace bitmap, and set these numbers very high. Um, it's very important that you make sure that these numbers are higher for a photo because the files are much larger and you can see that these um, colors are beginning to change drastically from the original. Uh, you lose a lot of detail and you'll see that these take much longer to compute. So I did 50 by 8 and I'm starting to get some of that detail back. But before I do that, uh, since the file size of this image is going to be difficult to work with, you'll start to see lag the lower those numbers go. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the desert and go into properties. And I'm going to compress it using the custom at 50, OK. And that'll bring down the file size probably around 20% or a little bit more, 20 to 25% usually. Um, you'll see it down here. Um, once you've compressed it, uh, you won't. It'll only compress it about one or two more percent, if anything. But that's a good way to start um, when working with these huge images. Um, uh, this image in particular is very large. But we're gonna go on, and I'm gonna do the koala. And this one it has a ton of detail. Uh, all these these two. Uh, photos were just taken from the the Windows library um, desktop backgrounds and the file sizes are fairly large so I'm going to show you why and everything about these images of why it's not ideal to bring these numbers down so low you'll notice that the time it takes to compute these and this is 100 by 8 Now I go down to 50, and you'll see it's starting to take twice as long as 100 on the color threshold. Now since I'm motion capturing, it's also um, causing some lag as well, but these numbers, the lower they go, no matter what, you're going to see lag. And even when you begin to work with the file itself, it'll start to uh, show lag. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did with the desert um, to try to save some uh, memory and calculations for Photoshop Custom. That should reduce the file size. But like I said, these, these uh, images are fairly large. Um, you'll notice right here when you do do something like this that one says two percent of the original but if you do it if you check that number before you hit OK you'll notice it's usually around twenty to twenty five percent so I'll go ahead drag the image in free transform tool and just have it cover my stage grab the selection tool zoom back in modify bitmap trace bitmap hopefully this will save some calculation time and tracing the bitmap is uh, creating it into a vector based image and you'll notice the calculation time it takes um, to change it So, you'll see it holds a decent amount of detail. I've compressed it, and I've also did the trace bitmap. I'm going to click OK. 
Now you see the lag it's creating. Um, the files, these, a file this large, you'd probably want to, uh, before you start using an image like this, if you, you have to use an image like this, um, bring it into Photoshop and bring down the file size. Uh, the first thing I'd probably do is just resize it so it's not uh, enormous. And then you can make some other adjustments to it uh, to save some memory for flash. And you notice that I'm selecting these and it's taking, I'm pressing delete and it takes a bit of time for it to start deleting. Um, that's just because of the size of this image. Um, it's great for uh, if you want to use an image like the bullet that's a small file size that's an image I created in Photoshop and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start cleaning these up so just gonna go around the outline of it of the koala if I were to um, want to use this in an animation um, selecting it with the selection tool would be kind of difficult for some of these areas because there's so many different shades of gray um, that it's just easier to use the eraser tool and I'm just going around scrubbing around with the eraser tool just getting some of these uh, spots out that were left over from the selection tool. So now I got it fairly clean around his head and his body, the right side of his body. I'm going to go ahead and use selection tool again, delete, and again, um, it's taking quite a bit of time to delete this. Uh, so, file size does matter big time when d trying to do something like this. I'm going to go ahead and clean up around here. And the sections where there's many parts, many different colors, uh, shades of gray and white and um, essentially dark gray and black. It takes... Uh, less time to use the eraser tool versus the selection tool. And I'm highlighting these and deleting them right away and it's taking a few seconds. Again, it's also because I'm using motion capture software simultaneously. Um, but uh, if you try this um, with a huge file size, you'll have probably the same exact issues. Uh, so I'm just going in here with the eraser tool, just cleaning up around. So now I've got the koala. I'm going to select it. And I've got my free transform tool. Resize it. And I'm going to place it in the corner. So now I've got my cleaned up image of my desert with the koala. Now it's not this ideal setting, but for a koala. Uh, but that's the irony of it. If you wanted to do something like this with an animation, this is one way of doing it. Um, and yeah, I hope this was helpful. Hopefully this will... Uh, give you some ideas for some future projects or uh, assignments and that's what it would look like if exported. Hope this was helpful for you and have fun with it.